Welcome everybody back to MLB 24 MLB The Show 24 My goodness, I'm just all over the place recently Today, I am revealing the team I will be doing a franchise with Um, yeah It is going to be a challenging one. Last year I did the uh, Detroit Tigers. I got them to the World Series. Came back from a 3-0 deficit against the Atlanta Braves. But we could not get it done. I feel like if we did another year, we stayed healthy, we, we, we would have won the World Series. Um, we are going with the Oakland A's. Now... This is the last year the Oakland A's will play the, in the big football stadium in real life. And then they will be homeless until they move to Vegas. I do not plan to move the A's to Vegas. I want to stay in Oakland. Um, during year one, maybe even year two, we I will be working on building or looking at stadiums. I've never built a stadium on the show. And that would be weird or fun to do maybe I don't know so I'm not really too fun too familiar with the stadium creator probably in year one I'll mess around with it a little bit don't worry too much about the stats I just kind of sent through uh, spring training to play a couple games with this team uh, I want to set it on fire uh, this team This team sucks. Okay, the, there's no other words or what around it. Paul Blackburn. He uh, never have I had luck with Paul Blackburn on the show, and uh, yeah, he. Thank God he's in the final year of his contract, and hopefully, sim wise, he can have a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. A decent, maybe an okay season, and we can trade his ass somewhere. Maybe the Rockies would take him out. They're probably pretty desperate for a bum like Paul Blackburn as well. They're just as bad. Um, I know in real life, Alex Wood is their opening day starter, and he will more likely be our opening day starter as well. JP Sears, you know, 28C potential, not great. We don't really have a uh, starter. I would say that it's going to be here in year two. Maybe Hogan Harris. Maybe Hogan Harris. I think he definitely has potential, but he's already 27. He's done growing. This is it. This is the final product. Ken Waterchuck, maybe we call him up in year one. He's 26. He's not going to get much better. This, uh, the farm system is not great. I mean, you got maybe two, three pitchers right here. They could develop into something. The bullpen is just as bad. Zach Jackson, maybe we can trade him away for something at the deadline if he's having some, a, a decent season. I don't know. I want to catch this entire team on fire, okay? It can't get worse, but it's going to get better since I'm taking over. Uh, Shane Langoliers, uh, I doubt he's here after year one. I already don't like him. I think Tyler Soderstrom, uh, whether he makes the opening day roster or not, I still might put him down to AAA to develop his bat some more, but I definitely think he's our catcher going forward over Shea Langlaire's. Uh, Ryan Noda, that decent, not great. Zach Jiloff, decent. Hopefully he can get better and we have our solid second baseman. Uh, third baseman, obviously, J.D. Davis signed here in real life. Abraham Toro, who could play first and second, I think could make the roster. I don't know. 
Jordan Diaz probably won't be here uh, on the opening day roster. Nick Allen's pretty solid. I, I do like Nick Allen a lot, and I see the potential in him. Uh, Seth Brown, no. He is terrible at fielding. I, I wish I could just cut him. I do. I, I wish I could cut him already. He is bad. Miguel Angelar? Angelar? I don't know. I think he, he would have had potential, but he's 29. Okay. JJ Bade? Terrible. So, uh, the outfield needs work. Estuary Rees, really good speed. His bat needs a lot of work, but it could be a very solid superstar who build the outfield around. So there's like two to three guys we can build this team around. No one in the pitching, in the bullpen, the closing to starting pitching. Can we build this team around? We got three guys. Three, four, four. No three. No three. Because Brent, work, Brent Worker is already 29. He's not getting better. He's going to start regressing. Okay, he may have two, three or four years at tops. Is it going to be here in this, this entire reboot? I don't know. There's good chances we get uh, trade offers for him this year. And he'll be our best to get somebody but uh Lawrence Butler oh he needs to develop his bat I think Butler could be somebody we get into the outfield at the big league level Clark Ellie as well Cameron Masterman maybe as well who knows uh, Kobe Thomas like this team is just very 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 bad and they are not in a easy division they got the defending World Series champions the Texas Rangers the Houston Astros who were World Series away from being a dynasty and they've won the division and uh, don't look like they're slowing down anytime soon a very hungry Seattle team a Angels team that may be better than us, but they still gotta find themselves after losing Shohei Otani, and maybe find that next superstar next to Mike Trout. So the Angels don't really know who they are, but they're gonna be better than us. We have our work cut out for us, very big time. Opening day is in a couple couple of days in real life. Uh, opening day will probably be uh, Thursday, maybe Thursday and Saturday for opening day and opening weekend. Year one is going to go by pretty, pretty fast because if I play slow with this team, I may have an aneurysm, okay? I may need a stray jacket to stop me from throwing my controller at certain people. Okay. So the A's are our franchise, but uh oh boy. Is it going to be rough? Uh 